Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of the Witch Doctor's Guide to Service Now. We're up to number 31 and today we're going to look at something that I can't take credit for. I just took it and tweaked it a little bit so it should be more usable for the general public. Uh, all credits to the Now Learning team who made it easier for the people who, who work in the back end of the Now Learning. We're going to look how you can easily hit unimpersonate or end impersonation when you are doing that at the service portal without needing to log out or log in again and there are a few other solutions on share as well i really like this one because it's so simple to to adopt into your own portal so i thought i might as well share it with you guys as well as an early christmas package i guess so let's see if i manage to move over to the next slide I guess not. Two seconds. Here we go. So, for those who doesn't know me yet, my name is Goran Lundqvist, calls myself the Witch Doctor. I've uh, been working with ServiceNow as a product for about six years, almost five, six years. Uh, been a customer, been working as a partner, and now I'm working at ServiceNow for like one and a half year. And truly loving it. If you want to connect with me, just feel free to hit uh, the LinkedIn pages. You can see them over there. And let's skip I hate PowerPoints, as you might have noticed if I'm looking at the other videos I've done. So, we're quick agenda. How does it work? Pretty much, we have one script include, one header, and one widget, and then we're up and running. So, let's go through and see how we can actually build that. So let me just get rid of the PowerPoint and see here so I can quickly move in over some codes. So you don't need to sit and wait for me to do the things. So let's start with the widget itself. Let's go to service portal. Let's hit the, there we go. And of course, I could have a picture of how it looks like, but I guess you just have to wait until we're done to see if you like it as well. So we'll hit widgets. And we're going to create a new one and we'll call that one and impersonation. Let's call it that. So basically, this is just going to be a, a small banner on top of the, the pages you're looking at. And we're going to use the, the theme and the header to make sure it ends up in all the different places on, on your portal. So first of all, we need to have, of course, uh, the server script. I'm just going to copy paste and explain while I'll do that. I'll paste that one in. So this one, just to show you a little more, the only thing we want to do is when you click on the link, it will use the impersonation helper script include and end the impersonation on the session. That's the only thing this server script does. Uh, the reason it's in global, because the functionality we're using uh, only works in the global scope. So the script include has to be in the global scope. And of course, if you make the widget in the global scope, you don't really even need to call the script include. You could have that code in the server side script as well. But I've done it like this because if you want to have it in a scoped app, you can easily reuse this code to make it work for you as well. So let's take a look at the, this client script. Let's copy that one as well. And this is personating pretty much just two things, the different um, text that we are using in the HTML template. Uh, I cleaned up a little bit because we have internationalization. Uh, that was a hard word to say. Internationalization. So I just cleaned this up so you can easily reuse it. If you have it, you can, of course, adapt that one as well. Uh, let me just, I can't really see the whole page. There we go. So basically just telling who we are impersonating and then the link to where you click to return back. And when you click, 
this is where we go back to the server and say kill the impersonation and then you will be redirected to the back end we have of course uh, where is my HTML template and you can see it's not much pretty much just a small banner and then a link that you can click on and we'll do some stuff and to make it look a little bit better and this is totally above my head when it comes to CSS so let's go over here and put that one as well so here we go this is the widget itself you don't need to do more than this so let's save this one and the script include i have actually copied that one that's the only thing i copied for this video i don't know why i didn't but i guess you don't want to see too much copy paste just <clears throat> some small functionality like getting the username looking if we are impersonating or not and all this functionality like we have this one only works in the global scope so that that's why and how all application scopes of course can access this otherwise it won't work um not much more to say about that so just one small thing left we need to put it in the header so let's go to the themes and header and footers there we go and usually for me let's just see here uh, service portal let's look at the portals i'm just going to take the normal we are using this theme so let's just see which header we are using there we are using so we're using the stock headers this is the one we want to copy and just add two small things which so will be visible so let's see here so first of all we're going to the server script and we need to fetch the widget i'm just going to copy that code as well uh, where were we server there we go let's put it on the top i can't edit this why because we haven't cloned it so i'll call this stock header with unimpersonate i don't know if that's even a real word unimpersonate but let's go with that one so server script paste that one in this is the widget let's just make sure that that is the correct widget name so we have the id that's the one you want yes and impersonation i'll just copy just to make sure my spelling is correct that's the bad part when you copy paste uh, and then we need to put it and let's put it at the top so let me just get that one and here we go i'll just dive in and paste it in right there so this one actually calls and embeds that widget in the header so i'll update that one now i need to go to the themes uh, and just let's do like this so you can see before and after And of course, I need to impersonate someone because you're going to see it. Right now, we want it to pop up actually above the menu. So, um, let's go and do that. Themes, Loyola, and the header. It's that one instead. We hit save now if we reload it won't show because i'm not impersonating someone but if i go and impersonate beth you 
now can see hopefully if everything is correct when i reload you can see the banner is popping up you're currently in person in bed angling click here to return to your account if i click there i'm back really good right it's not that important when you're impersonating people that have access to your backend, but when you're impersonating end users who doesn't have that, then you have to log out and log back again and all that stuff. Now you can only click check that one. Now, one thing I noticed, and I don't think I have that activated on this one. Um, that is if you're using SNC external and SNC external roles. So the people that are SNC external, when you're impersonating them, you can't even see uh, the banner because they are external. So what you need to do, there are two ways you can do it. Either you go to the widget. Uh, where is it? Here we go. You can either check this one it's a public widget or you can go in here if you want to have it a little bit more secure you can go to roles and just hit both of these roles so both the snc external and the internal role there we go so now even external people can see this one and uh, let's see i don't think before we wrap it up, um, because we are done already, that's, that's, this is a quick video. Uh, let's see what users, we have Yo, right? Yo employee, what? Is he, no, it's employee, right? Yeah. Didn't they almost think they removed him? Uh, so he has that role let's let's just test it since we have time if you don't have time to watch more feel free to log off but i am going to do like this i'll remove it there we go done and just hit save now poor yo is going to be be an external can i do that There we go. Uh, that, that, that was a weird one. Let me just reload and see. Did it complain because I removed and added at the same time? Hmm. I guess it was. Okay. Let's now see. So now that I removed the roles criteria from the widget, when I impersonate your employee, I will not see the banner. Uh, it seems to work at least with those restraints. I hit service portal and I shouldn't no see I can't see anything. And now I need to log out uh, and I need to log back in. And then I need to remove this one. So these are all the steps that we can actually get rid of. That's really, really, really nice. So I go back. SNC external. SNC. Oh, what's so. Oh, come on. That's typical. Here we go. Done. Save. Now let's go back. Let's impersonate Yo again. I should get kicked out. But now when I go to the portal. I should see the banner. Yay! Now we don't need to log out, log back in, change the URL. We just click and we're back in. So that's all, folks. I will upload the code to my GitHub. You will see the link in the YouTube uh, description below. So you can just fetch it from there if you want that as well. So 
Thank you very much for watching and see you around. And if we don't see you around, have a happy Christmas and New Year's Eve.